Gramahagatkiankorla, and can I start by offering firstly my congratulations to Deputy McConnellogue on uh, his appointment as Minister for uh, Agriculture and the Marine. I extend my good wishes to you as you embark on what is a, a very important job. And there is no doubt that your appointment comes at a time of very great challenge and uncertainty for Ireland's agriculture and, and fishing communities. Our farmers and our fishermen deserve focus, energy and resolve from government as Brexit talks reach a critical juncture and as family farming in Ireland faces an uncertain future. Uh, can I also extend my congratulations to Deputy Brown on his appointment today. Uh, we can't ignore the circumstances in which this ministerial vacancy arose. And Deputy McConnellogue now becomes the third Minister for Agriculture in less than three months as a result of what is a deep dysfunction at the heart of this government. We faced, out, we faced outbreaks of COVID-19 in meat processing plants and food production, and we faced those without a Minister for Agriculture. Controversy, chaos, confusion have consumed this coalition. And this has not happened by accident. It is, in fact, the consequence of the culture of entitlement and rivalry that still prevails within Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael and which is writ large across this government. Aspects and dynamics that do not serve the public good. In recent times, the politics of the old boys club rose to the surface again. And if there is anything that we do not need in public and political life, it's the old boys club. What we need is real change now more than ever. Let's recall that last February, when people voted, they were very, very clear what they wanted the government to prioritise. And the pandemic has made progress on these issues even more urgent. So class sizes need to come down. We need a strong public health service. We need to deliver affordable housing. We still have an unprecedented housing crisis and the highest rents in Europe. And yet the government's approach has been lethargic, and uninspiring. And incredibly, the Minister for Housing has still not published a plan to deliver affordable homes or a strategy for tackling extortionate rents. Even prior to the pandemic, our public health service was under the most enormous pressure. And now with the most serious public health emergency, we have an unparalleled backlog in hospital appointments. And yet, your health minister, Minister Donnelly, has still not produced a winter plan. And as we live through this pandemic, I have to say it beggars belief that government fails to utilise to the full the full testing and tracing capacity available to us. That is a big mistake. So we now need an urgent plan to build capacity in our cancer care system, which has been really badly affected by this pandemic. There's a significant backlog in screening and in treatment, and cancer touches us all, every family, every community. Cancer services and screening need investment and a plan, an ambitious plan, if we are to ensure that the health system can now catch up and keep up with the provision of cancer care. It's fair to say that incredible work by very many has been has been delivered to ensure that our schools are now open and that our children can return to education. But the challenge now is to ensure that we keep the schools open and that we keep everybody safe. This means rapid testing. It means protecting the jobs and incomes of parents when a child has to stay home. It means tackling teacher shortages, ensuring that children with additional needs are not left behind. And critically, this plan must be built on reducing class sizes, not as an emergency measure, but as a permanent change and feature in the system. Ken Corla, I believe that this coalition, this government needs an attitude adjustment. I think the need to begin to take seriously 
the responsibilities that they face. And I think we need to see very rapidly solutions to the very many challenges and dilemmas across our society. Because if ever there was a time when more of the same simply won't cut it, that time is now. Thank you, Deputy. So Taoiseach and our new Minister for Agriculture, it's time to get your act together, to wake up and to get serious. Thank you, Deputy. Deputy Allen.